we are not supposed to be slaving for money. There was no design that we should slave and die for money. We are supposed to be serving Jesus. Yeah. And as we are serving Jesus Christ, and those, those money will not serve us. Money is a good tool for the poor master. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome you to today's edition of Eagle Christian Voice of Victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Victories are short for you. Amen. As you keep learning and doing the things you learn on this program. In Jesus' name. Amen. And otherwise, say we are here by faith. Amen. Whatever is out of faith is sin. Mm. We are on this telecast by faith. We reach out to be used by God. So that we, God can use this couple to touch your life and change your life for good. Amen. We began a series, we began sharing with our on a loss of prosperity. Mm. Prosperity loss. Mm. And uh, where we're examining divine prosperity, financial prosperity. The only say prosperity is not just money. Mm. Prosperity is good health. Mm. It's good marriage. Peace. Peace. You know, uh, wellness. wellness, godly children, oh, yeah. good, everything good, and all that. Not even broken, but mm. anyway. It's the ability to meet your need, irrespective of the need. Wow. Any need that ever come, the supernatural ability to meet that need mm. is prosperity. Mm. So we, we are looking at, we are looking at uh, some of the dangers that are hindering Christians from prospering. Mm. And we itemize basically three W's. Mm. Three W's, by the way. Remember those W's? Don't waste money. Do not waste money. Don't worship money. Do not worship money. That's number one. And don't worry about money. Don't worry about money. So, so, so the first is that you must not worship money. The number two is you must not worry about money. Number three, you must not waste, waste money. It. So we are in the different levels in these three areas. Mm. And just like I shared, I said just now, I said, many Christians want to make it by night VG. <laughs> and it's night VG is okay. I'm, I'm for night VG. I'm not against night VG. Okay? I'm not against day VG. I'm not against, I'm not against uh, if you do a VG in the night or the night or the daytime, morning VG. I'm for you learning the word of God and let the word of God prosper you. Amen. The word of God has done the job. That's it, that's it. And the challenge thing in my life is, that no, is the key area where believers are facing challenge in their life is they don't learn faith. Mm. We want to walk by sight. By sight. Things by our calculations. By calculations, reasoning, yes, you can see and all that. So most believers are not familiar with faith. Mm. Faith for prosperity. Wow. Yes, faith for prosperity. Mm. So, and if you don't have faith for prosperity, you are going to be covetous. Mm. You are going to try to get it by your own ability. People are trusting in their strength mm. to make money. Mm. You know, the Bible says, Ecclesiastes, is there one day, when, they, when an axe is dull, you are going to exert more pressure on it to cut the tree. Mm. Because the axe is dull. Mm. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Hallelujah. Wisdom is profitable to direct. When your, when your axe is dull, you will work harder, harder, and then you break your health, and then you are unable to get the tree cut because there's no wisdom. Hallelujah. <laughs> Exhaustion. You know, you know, you know, book of Proverbs spoke about, about wisdom and wealth. Mm. Relationship between wisdom and wealth. Mm. There's a connection between wisdom and wealth. Mm. It's not a question that the richest man in the Bible is the wisest man. Wow. Solomon. Solomon. Mm. It's not a coincidence. Mm. It is wisdom that attracts wealth. Mm. Godly wisdom. Godly wisdom, yeah. Not cunning. No, no, not godly wisdom. No intelligence. Intelligence. <laughs> I was actually with one of our friends. I said, you, you, this, some of these people are intelligent, but the intelligence is not the same thing as wisdom. Mm. There is divine wisdom, okay? There is human wisdom. There is demonic wisdom. And that's godly, and that's godly wisdom. wisdom. That's, divine, that's, that's the divine one, yes. Okay. Yeah. So godly wisdom, the one that comes from God. Mm. And when God gives you that power to get wealth, he empowers you with wisdom to get wealth. Mm. They know how. They know how to get wealth. They, he orders your steps. Mm. You are at the right place at the right time. Mm. You are highly favored. Mm. See, the, uh, we, we, we have time to look at, we look at some of the ways God can prosper born again believers. Wow. It's good to have prayer and energy to do uh, dry fasting and wet fasting and all kinds of fasting. Nothing wrong with those, but if you are doing it, even now, for the purpose of getting money, you are covetous. Mm -hmm. Motive. Motive. The motive is to get yourself prosperous. Mm. <laughs> This is the, the, the biggest challenge we shared on the first edition, of the first, the first segment, is that people are covetous because they want to prosper themselves. And when you want to prosper yourself 
and you are covetous, you are very vulnerable to Satan's deception. Wow. He can lead you around. Yes. Somebody can say, yeah, bring money now, we have chemical. We're going to change money for you, become a millionaire for tomorrow. Yeah, you say, eh? Yeah, is that so? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You bring all your money in your bank account, you, you carry your money back out, quit the business for chemical, because you are thinking the business will double the money for you. Mm. Why is this pushing you? Covetousness. Mm. And Satan will put pressure on born again believers. He's putting pressure on born again believers day in, day out to yield to covetousness. Mm. So that I can take advantage of them. Mm. This thing, God say, go and sell these things. That's what I go to sell and make money. Mm. And then somebody say, you know what? Have you have you, have you name town? It's now gold that people are making money. They say gold, they make money. Oh, some kind of solid mineral. So solid mineral now. They are solid mineral now. Just oh, you, they so mine it. Precious. Yeah, precious stones. You see that it's fast making money. It's money making fast now. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Everybody rush with you. Rush, 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 rush. That's it. That's it. That's it. All your money. Put your money inside, and the enemy steal your money and take it away. Mm. Because that is a thief. Is mm. a robber. And he doesn't put a gun on you directly. He takes money by trickery. Mm. You surrender. Surrender. He persuades you. He persuades you. I surrender. He surrender. That's it. So when you are covetous, when you are covetous, you become more vulnerable to the enemy. Wow. <laughs> you know, when, I, when those days you bought it, you bought, when your children were young, you bought this VHS, it's a vernacular message. VHS vernacular message about these people that are coming, the Dramatize. dramatizing this 419 was new that time. And then they just came, you know what? They came, we just brought some deal with her. 12 de in the port. At the port. At the port. We want to clear it. We don't need money just, just for, the for the clearing. And then when we clear it, we can give you like three or four, three or four out of them. And then the man, the one man who used to have a cement, cement industry. Sold it off. Sold the cement industry off, everything. Anything. Both the cement and the industry. And anything. So that we got, got the wood <laughs> from the port. And then we get the wood That's it. You now get a three de wood and everything. They want to want some market women who are selling clothes. Yeah. You are all this, you are know, doing selling clothes and everything there. Yeah. There is a first time means to get the job done. Waste of time. Waste of time. Mm. We have some things at the port. Mm. We don't need money for clearing. So when you are covetous, mm. you are covetous, then the enemy finds you an easy prey. Well. I don't know why. Mm. We've had staff that work with us mm. where we run a business. And then uh, we've employed staff. We have seen a trend over the years. Mm. I don't know why. The number of years we started doing business. We've seen trend over the years of people going for a bigger job offer. Similarly? Similarly bigger job offer. Mm. They are money-led, mm. not spirit-led. They are money-led, but not spirit-led. Mm. So they, 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 they unhook. Mm. See, my when you say prosperity, it's a covenant thing mm. in the kingdom. Divine prosperity is a covenant thing. Mm. It's based on association. Mm. Anyway. When, when me and you became associated with Jesus Christ, we began to enjoy divine prosperity, Amen. not just in our finances, in our health, in our marriage, love of our children, in every area of our lives. We began to, we began to increase in those areas Amen. because of association with Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So divine prosperity, if you look at it closely from the Bible, anyway, from the time Adam was created and then God gave him dominion over everything, he, as long as Adam was woke up to the king of kings, he was prospering. Mm. He was prospering. Mm. He was prospering. Mm. And, and then when he, when he unhooked by rebelling against God, mm. and himself and his wife now took the forbidden fruit, their poverty broke out, mm. sickness broke out, mm. evil broke out, sin broke out, mm. because, of, because, because man died spiritually. Mm. Anyway. Laws of prosperity is governed by divine joining. Divine joining the almighty. with the Almighty God. And then when God joins you with the Almighty God, He will join you with people that He has anointed. It's very powerful. Wow. I was sharing with somebody today in the, in the, in the, in the, in the we met a couple, me and you were sharing with a couple today. We said, when we met a pastor, that man was carrying the anointing. Hallelujah. Kandavasa, Kandavasa. He was kind and anointed to prosper us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I was then that couple, I said, God used you to find my man of God. Mm. Connect with that man, and the man was kind and anointing mm. to prosper us. Mm. I was telling before, I was struggling before to get money, mm. looking for where there's the bigger money. There's bigger money, there's bigger money, there's bigger money, there's bigger money. Bucking by sight. Mm. 
But that man began to teach me how to walk by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. The ways of God. The ways of God. So prosperity, divine prosperity is about divine joining. Don't miss that if you are listening to us. Divine joining. You see, Abraham carried Lot along. It was not Abraham, it was not Lot that was blessed. It was Abraham that was blessed. He prospered by Abraham. That's it. So, so that's it, that's it. So, well, Abraham became prosperous. He had livestock, he had all this, he had gold, silver, and everything. And then Bible said, Lot, who went with him, also had gold, silver, and livestock. Mm. By association. Mm. Then he made a mistake by, 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 by unhook, he unhooked. Mm. He, dis, he disconnected. He didn't say what? Well, I've already made the money. See my camera, see everywhere. See, you know, camera like, camera is like cattle. See, seven and a half. See, all that. This, all that I've, got, I've got resources. I cannot be poor again. So, what do I need Abraham for? Man of God, you are here by sacked. <laughs> sacked the man of God with speed. But he had arrived. He had arrived. And the man of God said, No problem. No problem. I know where the, the source of the man prophecy is from. Take a look at everything. Mm. Take a, choose anyone you want. They chose the finest place, Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. He chose his, his, his chose his, dest, his, his, his destruction. Wow. And his lineage. And his lineage. Total family destroyed. Mm. See, he, 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 he see prosperity of look. look I, I'm going. I'm just enjoying the whole Let, Let's look at. <laughs> let's go. Let's look at. Uh, yeah, look, uh, let's look at chapter five, verse ten. And then we're we'll going to verse nineteen. You know, look at verse ten, nineteen. You know. He who loves silver will not be satisfied with silver. Uh -huh. No, he who loves abundance with increase. Mm. This also is vanity. You see that? He who loves silver will not be satisfied. Mm. When you love money, listen now, nobody who is a lover of money is ever satisfied. Mm. <laughs> That's the problem. More, more, more. It's more, more, more. Do you die? Mm. You're never satisfied. But when you love God, love us. This is very important. Let me do one anyway. Look at verse 12. Look at verse 12. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Yes. Whether he eats little or much. Yes. But the abundance of the rich will not permit him to sleep. It, 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 this are two examples. Mm. The, the, the poor man who is laboring. But I mean, he's better than this. like a log of wood. <laughs> Then the rich man, who has made it now, he not no satisfaction. Mm -hmm. He can't sleep wow. because of fear of losing the money. Yes. <laughs> Calculating and uh, what if I lose the money? There is no strategizing. Mm -hmm. Man can't sleep. Wow. The poor man doesn't have it. Sleep is sleep like a log of wood. Mm -hmm. The poor man has it. He can't sleep. What an irony! Is this, is this, <laughs> give me. Let's. I'm going to 19. You're going to give 19 verse in, 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 in uh, King James. I mean uh, an NLT. Yeah. I want to look at I look at uh, look as at for every man yeah. whom God has given riches and wealth, and 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 give him power to eat of it. Yes. To receive his uh, heritage and rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. Gift. If you are there, say gift. Gift from God. Gift. Gift. And you don't work for gift. Mm. Gift is gift. Yes. All right. And it is a good thing to receive wealth from God. Yes. Receive. And good to enjoy it. Not to achieve wealth from God. No. He says it's a good thing to receive it. wealth from God. Mm. Not it's a good thing to achieve wealth from God. Mm. That is a different thing. Let's go on. Read, read, read me the book. And it is a good thing to receive wealth from God. Yes, sir. And the good health to enjoy it. That's it. To enjoy your work and accept your lot in life. Yes. This is indeed a gift from God. This is very powerful. In other words, not, not that you're not going to, you're not going to work. Mm. But anyway, no, it's not saying you don't work. You see, enjoy your work. You work, but you are not looking up to that work to prosper you. Amen. Looking up to God. This verse is loaded. Mm. You are not looking for the work to prosper you mm. because you cannot, matter of there is no way to, you can use one eye to look at up and another one to look at down. <laughs> no, it's impossible. If you are working on stride, one eye down, the other one up. <laughs> it's not possible. So if you focus on your, on your work to prosper you, you miss it. Mm. And the devil will divert your attention from God so that you can spend more time focusing on, on the things you can see, wow. people that you know, you can people you can calculate, you fight with people, mm. and all that, all that you are doing in an attempt to make it. Mm. They call it hustle, spirit of, spirit of hustle. <laughs> see, I'm a hustler. 
When you say you're a hustler, then you are not depending on God. He said it's a good thing for every man who receives, who receives riches and wealth from God. You are a receiver, not an achiever. Mm -hmm. In born again believers are not achievers, we are receivers. Amen. We are receivers of what Jesus has already finished. But if believe, this thing you are teaching, how many Christians know it? Even from many. They don't know it. So they are like unbelievers. You read Luke, Luke the other time, and the same thing is in Matthew chapter 6. Where you say you can't serve God and mammon, and they say, don't worry about these things. Mm -hmm. The Gentiles are seeking them. Your father Who knows that you, that you need them. Yes. And it's going to add them to you, but you seek first the kingdom. That's the what I see. It is a privilege, another wife, to be trained the way me and you are trained. Praise God. Praise God. It's a lifetime opportunity. To be trained the way we are trained so that we are not hustlers. Mm -hmm. We have hustled before. Me and my wife, we have all oh, my, 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 my. We were hustling like crazy. Hustle the Lagos, Ibada, hustle everywhere. We are traveling up here to have to you to make it. You sell this one, sell this one. We were selling everything sellable. Everything we could sell. Here yeah, we were hustling to get money. And the Bible says the labor of a fool will weary him because he does not know how to get to the city. The labor of the is not say, but here, I mean, here you read just now, say we receive it from God. Number one, number two, you he also, God the same God, the same God who gives you this money, also gives you a health to enjoy it. Right. Wow. wow. I check around and see how many how many people have this combination. Mm. Wet and health. How many people have that combination? Mm. Most people don't have health. Mm. Mm. Most more people don't have money. Wow. Wow. They are like that. And that poor man, <laughs> that is uh, the rich. rich man who cannot sleep. Wow. A, sickness is sickness. Yeah, cannot, cannot, yeah develop. Hmm. So you see, you people, most people are in that combination of the two. They are the poor man. See, man, no get problem. Poor man enter a palo <laughs> with all the money he has made for the day. See, he want to, he want to kill thinking. <laughs> he want to, to enjoy. We can, we can enjoy. Enter a palo, finish drinking, and then eat, eat the bread. And snort it the following day. Wow. And then go right back. I remember as a, as a young as a young child when I was in secondary school, I went to do labor work in uh, somewhere they were vacation, vacation job. job. <laughs> uh, they were consulting this year upon those days. It was <laughs> this was uh, I think early seventies or so. And then I was there was there, I was there, and then I was toiling with the this thing there. They gave us we were paying us three naira. Three naira was the total pay. Wow. Three naira. Total pay. <laughs> 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 and then I had to tear bread to eat because I didn't want to spend all of the money to eat buka. Struggling to see I could, I could survive. Mm. And I see, after I graduated in the university, we got married, me and me, we got married in the 80s, and then we, after getting married, we entered toiling. <laughs> Kandaba, Sakaraba, we, we want to make it. Mm. Toil like crazy. And here, my, my brother, my sister, God is not against you working. He wants you to be diligent in what you are doing. Don't miss that right now. But he's saying that he's one that gives you power to get wealth. It's an empowerment. And so God's role needs to be factored in. Yeah, he's the biggest factor. In fact, the most important factor in your making money is God's factor. But unfortunately, my wife, most people do not see God's factor as the main factor of making money. They see their efforts. Mm. Then God can just be rubber, rub, uh, got qualification, yeah, ability, yeah. their skill, their talent, and everything. They see it as a way to make money. Those who they expect God to rubber stamp it. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I've seen people, I've seen, I've seen people, they, I mean, like I said, like I said, for all the years we've been running a, on a business, we see people come in, we know that they have potentials, and God can use them tremendously. Mm. They walk and everything, and they see their life changing and everything. Before you know it, somebody gives them another offer somewhere. And then they leave the place. Mm. They go to another sort of offer. Mm. Then they leave the place, they go, go to another offer. Mm. They go to another offer. So they are jumping from one offer to another offer in an attempt, in a desperate attempt to enrich themselves. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. This is serious matter. And because of our restless spirit, mm. spirit of restlessness, because you are trusting in your ability. You are not, you see, that's what happened a lot, my wife. Lord forgot where they brought him from. So he was not trusting his ability. 
He has made money. So he cannot go again. And then, knowing, not knowing that, apart from money, there's also a need for health. Mm. Another word. Peace. Peace. How many in the home? How many in the marriage? What the use having all this? We have a 15 bedroom house. And there is strife. And there is strife. You're on the third marriage, you're on the fourth marriage, you're on the fifth marriage. Mm. You're changing them every day. Mm. You're changing them every day. Mm. What is the point having all the money in your bank account and your children are sick and dying? Wow. What is the point having all the money in your bank account and your children are wayward? Mm. You don't know where they slept last night. It's of no use. What's the use of the money? The Bible said, the Bible said the prosperity of the fool will ruin them. Mm. You see, my daughter, we have been in this city for a while now, mm. and we have seen people that made that they, they hit it, they hit money. In the past. In the past. Mm. We've seen them, they hit money. Mm. I remember one unbeliever, and I want typical man as a non-believer, as a Christian. I'm a typical unbeliever. I know one of one or two, one or two nine, I can remember. What a number of what a number of them? They hit money. Mm. There was one that really hit money big time. Mm. I was very full of himself, arrogant and everything. <laughs> Before we know it, we saw him on the on the we see we see road like this on the with the bathroom slippers. Bathroom slippers. Wow. Well. Another one, just sudden death, because the the prosperity of the fool will ruin them. Because it is their strong city, is their strong tower. See the money as, as a defense. It's a defense. Mm. A fortress. A fortress. You don't see God. You see, billions of the people in the world are not seeking God. They don't even know God. It's money. It's money. That's why it is very sad if after you get born again, early wife, you now belong to God. You now see God like unbelievers. You seek money, money like unbelievers. Wow. That is sad. That's the sad part of it. They made money. Blood pressure kids, blood pressure kids, and because the money went to all of a sudden it's stroke. Because that's all. This is their God. Your God is dead, so you are dead. Money vanishes. I don't know why. But when you begin to factor in the Holy Spirit and let, and this thing is a major, a major thing we are teaching, my because there is nothing that contests with God as money. Most people are against tithing. They don't believe in tithing because they realize people are taking advantage of their money. Ah, I cannot tithe. If I tithe it's too tight, I can't tithe. You can't tie it because it's tight and it will get tighter. Because, I mean, now when you trust God, God blesses you with money. You can, if God says, turn over it to me, in one night you can liquidate it. It means nothing. It doesn't mean anything to you. No. Look at Abraham and anyway. God used Abraham in such a way that it was, let, when he said, leave your people, your, your kindred, leave every one of them. He didn't have to pray about it. He liquidated the whole place and we took off. Yes. To a place he didn't even know he was going. Mm. Abraham's blessing. Yeah, because God spoke. He spoke. Mm. When he said, Abraham blesses Amma, Abraham blesses Amma, ah, do you really believe it? Are you, Abraham, are, you yours? are you ready to do what Abraham did? Do you have to walk in faith and by faith like Abraham did? When, when, see, do, Abraham and Abraham is a typical example. When we, when we have time, we look at it here. We look at, look, at, look at the Genesis. And see when he went and conquered about, th about four kings. Or is it five kings or so? Mm -hmm. He conquered the kings and then he brought spoil. Spoil, spoil, spoil. And they said, look, 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 take the spoil. You are the one that want the battle. They said, no, I will not take anything from you. Let's, let's say you make Abraham rich. Mm -hmm. Abraham said, I will not take him with shoe, shoe lace from you. Sander strife from you. So that you will not claim that you are the one that made Abraham rich. Abraham rich. This is serious. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at it. This is very important. Yes, and if we, if me and you can know that it's not a human being that can make you rich. Not your uncle. No. Not your brother. My uncle, your my, my, my uncle go say to me. They go say to me. My, my, he go say to me. Don't, he promise he go say to me. He go say to me. You, say, you are trusting people. The Bible says, war to him by pushing strong in the arm of flesh. Me and, me and you are trusted people with Lord. And they pass. And they fail us woefully. <laughs> my, 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 my. Woefully failed us. We have taken decisions, major decisions, got, put an, money in investment, trusting people. And the last minute, they turned their, they turned their back on us. <laughs> One man, I want to see the man, the man said, oh, he, knows my, he, knows, he knew my uncle. He said, are you Lotus, uh, Lotus uh, younger brother? I said, yes. Wow, we have made it. <laughs> You made it. Where have you been this town? Huh? You made it. 
He said, I should go and print a, a business name, bin, da, 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 da. all this more money we had, we had, you know, we had, we had tax clearance and everything, do tax clearance. Would I, what, I will make it. I couldn't even get to where I call you. That time, there was no cell phone, there was this little phone that time. I said, we have made it. <laughs> <laughs> we have made it. On the promise of a man. Promise of one man. We were ready to sink everything because of one man. And I had something speak to me, I say, I wish you can trust me as you trust that man. What will happen when you trust God the way you trust human beings? Mm. Some of them are not unbelievers. There will be a total turnaround. They are not unbelievers. They are promising you big, big money. You see, they promise you big money. You go, you go and take up the, the, the this there, there, and then you know, they say, well, you know, actually things are a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. I'm working on some things right now, and, um, mm -hmm. you know, I just I made some consignments in Tokyo, and uh, they are coming from Japan. Where my, where my, where my ship is from Japan, the land lands. No, uh, coronavirus. Co coronavirus has already affected my ship. <laughs> so now you have to wait until this, when, it, when it is ship and everything, and I will now I will take care of you that time and everything. But what about when you realize that my daughter is not a promise of a man, mm. but that Jesus paid for your he paid everything for your poverty. He redeemed mm. from poverty. Hallelujah. And you cannot begin to put your confident trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. No man makes you rich, God makes you rich. Amen. Amen. Our time is gone, anyway. Time is fair, it's gone. <laughs> Sweet, but time is gone. <laughs> if you are not born again, you are spiritually poor. Mm. And it's the worst poverty. Mm. It, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how much money you have. You are spiritually delinquent. Mm. There's a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. Mm. And hell is not for one, one year, five hundred years, ten billion years, it's forever. Once you step there, you can move out. And religion cannot take you to, any, to anywhere. It takes you to hell. Only Jesus. And I'm not, saying, I'm not saying Jesus as a prophet. Jesus as the son of God that died for you can get you saved. So if you want to get born again right now, say this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. As the Son of God. As the Son of God. That died for me. That died for me. He was raised. He was raised. For my justification. For my justification. Jesus. Jesus. I call on you. I call on you. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And my Savior. Be my Savior. If you said that and you meant it, you are born again. It's as simple as that. It's finished. Finish work. And if you are seeking your body, the same Jesus Christ paid the price. Mm. Talk where you are hurting your body right now, and let you use his name to knock off that sickness out of your system. In the name, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed Amen. right now Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, he, 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 say, say, I take my healing. I take my healing. That's it. Now, if you are lying down, stand up. If you couldn't eat, go and call for food. Okay, you are healed. <laughs> the next thing, my is that they need to look for a living church. Prayerfully. Prayerfully. The, Pray the, the day you prayed for a living church, Amen. you pray for a church. Amen. And that you can walk in spirit and truth, and go lay to my pastor. Amen. The pastor man told me the word of God. And, this turned and everything changed for us. You, you need a living church. Your lifespan is based on where you worship. It's very powerful. So I believe God will lead you to the right church in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you and God loves you. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye -bye.